I know you guys are probably getting sick of these little warning intro things, but because this video is long enough as is, I'm going to go ahead and put a little sub video describing the glitch situation again. Uh, I'll put it in the description below. It should be out slightly after this video, but for now, please enjoy. Oh, hi guys! Guy Gucci 9 here with Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Republic. In the last episode, we made it here to the bridge, the Leviathan. And, well, let's see what's on the other side, shall we? I mean, gotta go a little bit backwards, but, eh, who cares? Let's just go. <laughs> oh, it says me! Oh, this doesn't look good. At least we're not shooting right away. <laughs> Very resourceful. I assume you had some part in this. You learned your lessons well from me. The only thing you taught me was betrayal and death. Don't be a fool. I'm giving you and your companions a chance to surrender, a chance to live. Darth Malak himself is on his way. He'll be arriving any moment. He speaks the truth, Karth. I can feel the Dark Lord's presence approaching. Malak will destroy you. But if you throw down your weapons now, I will ask my master to be merciful. I've seen enough of Sith mercy. You always did like to do things the hard way. Lord Malak would have preferred live prisoners, but corpses will have to do. And we get to fight off with Saul. And I'm going to be a cheap little bitch. And... Poor thing. <laughs> Alright, let's take out his Jedi friends first. Yes, stun everything. <laughs> Ah, uh, Force Wave. I don't regret you getting- Oh man, those other two are getting their butt kicked. Uh, okay, Force Wave time, again. There we go. That'll kill the air a bit. If we could kill this Jedi, please! What are you two doing? God, just boarding around in the back there. Like idiots. At least this fourth wave thing is really... I don't know why, how I haven't killed this guy yet. Oh, it's probably because he keeps healing. Uh, I really shouldn't be... I really need to be careful with my fourth power. It's not burnt. Alright, can we move, please? Thank you. Alright, I just want to get the Jedi's out of the way first. You, you, you can see how damaging these guys are. Alright, uh, alright, let's take on you because Karth looks like he has a, situ he has a situation with people around his end. Look at all these yellow lightsabers. How oh, cool. Alright, I'm assuming Karth's done with his little thing, so... Hey, hey, Saul. Have some force, babe. <laughs> I am a cute soul, babe. I'm not old, but... That's stuff. And there he goes. The Admiral, he's still alive. Oh, I'll fix that. Hey, no, bad card. Bad. Don't you understand what this man has done to my life? Do you know the pain he's brought me? Killing him won't ease the pain, Karth. Do not become what you despise. Karth, <laughs> must tell you, <laughs> must tell you something. <laughs> Come closer. Okay, see, so I don't know why he's doing this. He could, there could be a trap. He said, it can't be true, can it? No, no, it can't be. Damn you, Saul. Damn you. Sorry. Ah, uh, what am I trying to say? Well, <laughs> can we get out of here now? Basil, it is true, isn't it? And, and you knew. You and the whole damn Jedi Council, you knew the whole time. Karth is not what you think. We had no other choice. Please, you don't understand. Am, so make me understand. Am I missing something here? Damn, not hey, when they don't protect my Please, there's no time. Anymore. Malak is coming. This isn't the place. Please, Koth, I'm asking you to trust me for just a little while longer. All right, yeah, we gotta get going, whatever it is. I'll trust you, Bastila, but as soon as we're off this ship, I expect some answers. 
Of course, Garth. As soon as we get to the Ebonhawk, I'll explain everything. To both of you, I promise. Okay, something's going on here. Does this guy have any remains? Yes, he does. Gimme. Karth. Bad Karth! <laughs> get out of the way! Ooh, yeah, a lot of credits! Adi, likey. Uh, computer panel. We need this. We definitely need this. Hmm, program new destination. Well, let me get these docking bay doors out of the way first. Uh, Starforge destination. Hmm, let's, let's mess with them for a little bit. Why not? Rejected? Why even give me the option then? Hmm. I'm tempted to hang around on this ship because it is going to the, uh, the Star Forge. We can finally figure out what that thing is. But, like Basil said, we should probably book it before Malik gets here. Uh, he's <laughs> <eat> some grenades. <laughs> uh, silly stuff. Alright, let's work our way back. I said, oh, hello there. I'm going to kill you now. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> Yeah, I imagine the Sith aren't going to be very happy about us killing their admiral. Alright, but yeah. So obviously we're going to have to make our way back to the um, elevator. Which unfortunately means we do have to fight our way back through the... Um, did I get through this stuff? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, oh, there's no one here. Maybe those three guys were who I just fought. Maybe that was it. I don't know. Seems kind of pointless now. Oh, well, anyways... Yeah, we're gonna have to fight our way through this. I don't know. I assume enemies have spawned in this place again, even though we've cleared out the entire area. Because it, it'd just be too easy. Now, mention this is a pretty big ship. Wouldn't be surprised if uh, they filled up a few of the holes we've left. But yeah, we want to. We just want to book it straight for the elevator. Yeah, pretty much bend everywhere in this area. Yeah, there we go. Uh, struck Jedi. This is the regular kind. Alright, you guys need the simmer the help. Hey, stop that. Uh, okay. That worked. That, that totally works. Alright, we want to go this way. What? Where did you come from? Did that guy did I, did I miss a guy? Or did he just pop out of thin air? And he had remains, too. Gimme. Ooh, life. Could always use some life support. Always good stuff. Because those things can be expensive, from what I remember. Oh, no, guy. Not quite done. Oh, come on. That was barely anything. There we go. Damn, those, can, those guys suddenly drop a lot of experience. Alright, well, I think the way is clear, so now we can just get to the elevator. And now we can get to the final area of the Leviathan, which is the hangar area. And it, unfortunately, it's not a straight shot. It's not like the elevator opens up and there's, boom, there's the Ebon Hawk. No, there's a few hallways we have to go through first. It's kind of like, I guess, the Death Star in a way. Only it's not, doesn't make planets as explodey as the other, I don't know, let's just go. Alright, another long haul. Um... Oh, Candorus. It's Candorus. We took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here. Now, he says, we took care of the guards, unquote. Yeah! Not really! Thank God for Force Wave! <laughs> oh, this ability is so broken in this area. Then again, I don't think I actually have to take these guys on, but, eh, why not? Experience is experience. But <laughs> we leave no survivors. Hey, you can't heal! Only I'm allowed to heal in this game! Yeah. Oh, it's not working. Okay. Antidote kits. We get quite a bit of those. Uh, nothing? No more remains? Oh, there's a remain. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, what's in door number two? Bad touch! Very bad touch! Uh, well... I mean, the last one didn't go too badly. Let's see. I mean, this guy's actually dressed like a master, so... Although, Karth is... 
I wait. Yeah, there he goes. Jeez. That one. That one just melted too. Wow. Damn. All of a sudden, these guys are just wimps now. I guess. <laughs> oh, that was fun. No remains. Oh, there we go. 80 credits. Uh, we would have expected a little bit better from a freaking master, but okay. Yeah, let's just get going. Heal up first, then we can get going. Alright, uh, I think this is a big important story time, but we're only 11 minutes in, so I don't want to end the video off here yet. Oh, well, okay, never mind. We're not there yet. Oh man, that's a lot of blasts right now. <laughs> Look at us. We're just reflecting all of them. And yeah, the first force wave barely got anyone, so. There we go. Now we can get. We can clear the air a little bit. We can get a level up too. How nice. It, can I? There we go. Alright, looks like everything's clear. I figured there'd be a remain or two it's here and there. Uh, alright, so there's, there's quite a bit of stuff here. Yes, I know, game. I need a little blood, but I need to loot first. Because looting is very important. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Uh, skills! Um, attack two more into persuasion. Oh, persuasion is maxed. Alright, um... Tensor to put into tree injury, but... Eh, let's continue computer use. Um, oh, a feat. What is it? Master Jedi Defense. Oh, this is a blaster bolt thing. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Powers! Uh, stace. No, I can't. Eh, yeah, I can't use Stace of Fuel with the armor that I have right now. Uh, ooh, I can get Dominate Mind already. Yes. Oh, wrong button. X. Then A. <laughs> so yes, let's let's get the ability to, f uh, to mess with people's minds. <laughs> that should be fun. I mean, well, there's the Ebon Hawk, so somehow we have to get down there from here. Uh, there is some really good light armor that we get later on in the game, but like for now, uh, well, it's probably good I just get Dominate Mind anyways. Then I can worry, yeah, that's nothing. I don't know why that's sticking out. It looks like you can open that door because it looks like there's a gap under and behind there, but eh. Yeah, there is some good light armor that we get later on in the game, but like, well, that's pretty much the end of the game, though, so I don't know what I'm going to do with force powers yet. And it is, this should be story time. Yep, there we go. You didn't think we were going to get away that easily, did you? Darth Malak. Good job, Karth. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of leaving uh. so soon, Bastila. I spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? Eh? I'm... I'm missing something here. What? <laughs> you mean you don't know? <laughs> All this time and you still haven't figured it out. <laughs> I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training. But this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. 
Tatooine. Kashik. Manon. Uh. Wait, don't show that yet! That's spoilers! No! Nah. visited each of these worlds. <laughs> why, game? Why? We don't even know what that. Location of the Starforge. Sorry, I shouldn't be interrupted. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? Now, I have to admit, this is one of the few things in gaming history that has actually honestly surprised me. Especially considering that I played the second KOTOR game before this one, so I had no idea about who Revan was, or Malik, or any of this nonsense here. But yeah, we are Darth Revan, of all the people in the universe. <laughs> yeah. You cannot hide from what you once were, Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord, and know that I have taken your place. So, first question, how? You do not yet remember, Revan. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you, and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. Um... Let's see... Alright, so... Again, how? I helped them, Revan. I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When the Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. We've kind of already been I spoiled to this in so many different ways bridge. here. This part I here. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed that Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. Uh... You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy, but you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. Uh, so why? The Jedi are fools. They I do guess not believe in executing to to prisoners. Too, I suppose. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. Basila? Is this the thing? It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan. To capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. So, what happened to old Revan, though? The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. So... Why not let me die, though? I mean, it seems the logical. The Jedi hold all life sacred, even that of a Sith Lord. I could not just let you die, Revan, not if it was possible to save you. Bastila hides the truth behind noble words, Revan. The Jedi needed the memories buried deep in your wounded mind. There was no other way to bring them out. They had to keep you alive. 
didn't really work, I suppose. But uh I wanted to tell you, but the council forbid it. They were afraid you might return to the dark side if you discovered your real identity. But now you know the truth, Revan. The council has failed in their attempt to make you their pawn. The will of a Sith Lord is not so easily manipulated. Oh, again. Uh all right, why program We couldn't again? simply restore your true identity. Revan was too dangerous. But locked inside your mind was information the Republic needed. The secrets of the Starforge. The Council created an identity for you. A soldier under my command. Hey, your scout under the command. To lead you to the <laughs> Let's get our facts right here. There's no other way to get the information. They made you their puppet, Revan. And Bastila was the handler pulling your strings. So why her though? And when this I kind of explains a little bit. To keep you alive on that bridge, it created our bond. I convinced the council that I could use that bond to draw out your memories and lead us to the Starforge. Tell the truth, Bastila. You wanted to taste the dark side for yourself. You knew the only way the council would permit you to explore the Sith's power was through Revan's lost memories. No. I wanted to help you, Revan. I thought this mission would redeem you, that it would atone for your past crimes. How else could you be saved? But what if I actually came old Revan again? You had to be healed so I could try and draw out the secrets of the Starforge. It was our only hope of stopping the Sith. It was a risk the Council chose to take. Eh, uh, fair enough, I suppose. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. Triumph, Malik. You seem to forget that I'm still alive. Yes, I'm gonna go with that option. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. <laughs> I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition, master versus apprentice, as it was meant to be. So yeah, boss battle against Darth Malik should be fun. Force wave. Well, I have immunity to some of your powers. Because I am. Alright, let's uh, throw on my shield just so I don't die real quick. Alright, now I can kick your ass. <laughs> hey! I'm, only, I'm supposed to be the only one doing that. There, take that. Ow. Oh, this. Oh, he's missing too, so. Alright. Getting a few chunks out. Hey! Stop! Stop that! Right. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, you have to do this alone, so you have to be careful, especially on your health. Probably not a good idea wasting too much of your fourth power. I don't know, a lot of these battles, I just go like with the, you know, thing. Oh, there he goes. Just, you know, just beat the crap out of him. So yeah. We're turning the tides on him, and he runs away like a little bitch. And, uh, yeah, those two are frozen, so we can't really deal with anything. Uh, let's go ahead and use a med pack to speed things up. Uh, yeah, I can't use versus speed. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna wait around a little bit, get my force points up the bat. Yeah, but yeah, you can't talk to these guys, they're completely frozen. So it's really just you and Malik. Now, you could try to go forward, but, well, let's wait a little bit, just in case I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm right, alright, it's locked. So you have to go around, and that's why you have this little, like, square thing. You kind of have to wonder what's the point of this little grid right here. Uh, can I get through here? No, I think you have to get in from behind. Giggity. <laughs> uh... Yeah, got a corner Malik like a little rat. Kind of holding that little weird there, Malik. Force wave! 
Haha, <laughs> that worked that time, you jerk. Oh, but it didn't stun him. Oh well. Yeah, he, he probably has too high of a uh, stats of it to get stunned. Hey, not okay. bad. No. Alright, well, this stats are going a little bit better. Look at it, I'm just whacking away at this guy. There we go. Hey! Oh yeah, it's getting faster. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. Thank you. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. But I'm kicking your ass! How can you even make that claim? I'll hold Malakoff. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! <laughs> The door's sealed. We can't get past. Come on. And so, and magically, I'm free. <laughs> what about Basila? Basila doesn't though? stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. But that Basila was beating him. Herself so we, get away. <laughs> we can't let her sacrifice be. Why did you take my ability seriously? Uh, fine. Let's go. Yeah, you can't really get to Basla. The rest of the blast doors are going to be locked at this point. So, all we can do now is just go to the hangar bay and GTFO. By the way, if you haven't realized this already, we just lost Basla. Don't get to use her anymore. Yeah, GTFO time! I'm pretty sure this is the same damn scene that we played after we escaped Terrace. Of course, you had to expect it wasn't going to be that easy. So yeah, for the second time of the game. We got the laser turret minigame. So it basically runs the same as before, just destroy all of them before they destroy you. I think I got like two of them, two of them in that initial wave. There we go, there's another one. Alright, most of them are over here. Oh, oh, ah! Damn. Wasn't quick enough. Where's... Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Okay, there we go. Got him. Yeah, sometimes you can clip them, but you won't destroy them. Yeah, yeah, see, like, I clipped him twice before I actually got him. So... But yeah, you can actually get them from far range. This is pretty nice. Where are you? Firing at me. What? What? Where are you? Man! Stop that. Come on, I can get him. There we go. And, and there we go. Little jerk there, but we're all done. Um, okay, there we go. Alright, but yeah, we're officially done with the Leviathan, guys. And this is going to be a long video, I can already tell. It's going to be easily over 30 minutes. Ugh. But there, there really wasn't a good spot to really break that up, unless I made like a really short video, so I apologize. Okay, what please 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 we ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed please herself turn. so we could get away. Okay, okay, we're good to go. Alright. <laughs> Malak won't kill her, don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side, and the Sith will always be victorious. Eh. Oh, we can't really help her at this point, though. Not so fast. We've that... got a bigger issue to oh. deal with here. Oh, yeah, that's right. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malik said, or should I? Uh... Fine. <laughs> You're dead! Uh... Yeah, let's go honestly. Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big! I know. Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Uh, small bits. Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. 
It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. Well, hey, though. Hey, yeah. you've got nothing to be sorry about. You didn't ask for this. Besides, I know you. You're not Revan anymore. Whatever you used to be, you're one of us now. I recognize the mission. This is more life than the person you are, not the other person you were. It's pretty cute stuff Big here. Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Well, Everyone that, knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. Yeah. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far. Revan, but can I trust you? Can any of us? All right. Well, what about you, Tilly? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that. See how awesome this guy me. is. Does it change? Like anything? he knew from day one we were Darth Revan. That's very intense. And I'll help if I can. So yeah, he's pretty cool. Uh, Kandris. You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? <laughs> Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. Fair enough. Uh, HK. Commentary. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. He's got a blow! Wait, tell me. <laughs> my programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a a homing system that is restoring it, Master. It's gonna blow! <laughs> What's that? Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... Upon returning to my original master. Wait. So you're Revan's droid? Correct, master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now. So under your we learned a little bit about HK, but more importantly, he's just become a lot more powerful. That makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> uh, but I'm not Revan anymore. Observation. That does not matter, Master. I am your droid, regardless of your actions or personality. Fair enough. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? <laughs> Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. <laughs> Fair <Good> point. <laughs> uh, T3? I don't know what I, I was expecting with that. For you. Droids don't hold grudges. Eh. Alright, well, Karth. Well, the others seem to trust you. And I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I really don't have any other choice, do I? Nope. <laughs> I won't let you down, Karth. Uh, I yeah. won't believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. I had to try, though. Well, yeah, how do you think I feel, though? This is pretty intense. even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it, then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're going to find that star forge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late. Alright, and with that, we're officially done with all the Leviathan nonsense. Now, when there is a cutscene. Oh, wait. Wait, is actually letting me return to Dantooine? So I was wrong. Yeah, this is, uh, this is letting me into Dantooine. So I was. I guess I was right before. I guess I could? 
Huh. But this was destroyed? Huh. Uh. Alright, this bears a little bit of explanation. I'm gonna go outside to confirm. Um, alright, who do we take with me? Well, if I'm gonna go after that one guy, um, let's take Juhani and, uh, uh, Candorous, why not? I'm gonna need a lot of firepower on this one. Well, this is a different screen. Is it, like, it, or am I able to park into, like, a destroyed portion of the Jedi Enclave? Um, alright, well, this is definitely different, but it's only showing me my ship, so is this just, like, a ruined portion of it, or... Wait a minute. I'm on Corbin! What?! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I don't want to be showing off this yet. Probably a little bit early. Okay, I guess I guess in the event that you're flying to Dantooine when it gets destroyed, it defaults to the last planet. So, let's get these guys leveled up. And I'm going to retreat back onto my ship, I guess, because I probably want to bring a more, a, like, a natural, like, a more proper party team out. Well then, so yeah, I guess that does confirm. I can't go back to Dantooine. Poop. Oh well. Can't help it. It was a sort of blaster anyways, and plus this allows me to skip out on some evil points too, so I guess it works out in the end. But uh yeah. I guess I gotta end the video. God God knows how long it is at this point. Uh let's... Yeah, Bass is gone. Yeah, I'm on Corvon. Yeah, and Dantooine can't be selected anymore, just to let you know. But yeah, this is Sky Christian 9. This is Star Wars Kotor. Next episode, I guess, we'll start exploring Corbin. So I will see you then, guys. <laughs> <sighs>